much. It's pretty strong with the Coddle main thing for the team, I'll be honest. It does like, feel like it. <laughs> it's not that he's like the playmaker, he is, but at the same time, he's also the highest net worth. And Crit's keeping mid. And they make this All one right. work out. The raindrops are going to soak up a bit here, but the ink's well stunned. First blood imminent, and that op and kill is a certainty. However, it does get traded off by Toronto Tokyo with a level two magic missile. All right, well. Have face shift available, so trade off one for one. Uh, to level yeah, up, you know, he's Crit, he six. wants to chill. Yeah, they're also paying attention for, for the for the six minute rune, but if they see a kill opportunity, they will take advantage of it. Save is coming in though. Coil popped at the same time. And here comes Toronto Tokyo and Abed oh, might be no. the one in trouble. And there goes your puck. Deleted. Bed boom. They're not done yet. Going straight to fly. GPK right on top of him. Looking for a secondary nice, call the ancient apparition. And he's not going anywhere. Save will secure the kill with a right click and crit. Maybe he took the rune away from GPK, but Radiant All right, and if they lose fly mid, which they should, because they just saw a bunch of action They're happening mid now. GPK with Toronto Tokyo, they get a kill up to the AA. Abed already burned out that invulnerability rune. Slowly running out of that shield from oh, the Tokyo with the swap. swap save. He can get himself to safety. Invis rune popped as well. Abed, no idea where he is right now. And turning his attention towards the Vengeful Spirit save with a big blow. GPK there, but that is not going to be enough to catch the puck. He's already out. Can anybody really match up to Rebellion? It was more about the Nouns and the TSM facing off against each other's and see who's going to be taking that second spot. But Abed, with Fly, with the help of Crit, it's just the Coddle that they can get their hands on. And Bedboom is looking to maybe retaliate on this as GPK gets a jump on the Fly, goes all the way to the back with Pure coming in. Beautiful hoof stomp on two. And that will delete Rebellion. And that is a lot for Bedboom to recover. We just traded a summon. Radiant. They're not going to jump that melee creep, and he's going to pop the infest. Brewmaster moving away. Swap to cancel out the channel, and Saberlight going to get caught. Orchid pop for the first time. And Bebu will take it. And, and how often do you see Ovid, like the same network as Saberlight? It's so disgusting that you need Ovid to do well on this team, because Saberlight, I mean, he's the first pick Brewmaster, right? They generally first pick Saberlight. Yep. So he won't and they're going to go for game. Saberlight again. They've got the Orchid pop, AA Blast coming in. Brewmaster low on HP is going to be connecting onto a lot of Bedroom heroes. And they're still stuck with the Soulbind, but there's the Centaur ult to reset. Toronto Tokyo trying to make a run for it, but he's going to get caught by Abed. They can't really focus on the Centaur, but they can focus on this tower as they brought Arteezy into the midst of the action. Bottle thrown into the air, Bedroom, they're turning it around with GPK, GPK going very optimistic, but he might lose his life, gets the jump away just in time. Won't lose his life, and Pure also hmm. takes a couple eclipses, but that tower finally down, and just one casualty from this battle. Yeah, that may have worked if, well, let's hold on a minute here, Nightfall in a little bit of trouble here, he's gonna have to infest, but yeah, they probably Attempt number three, three, third time does the charm, potentially, oh, Nightfall. Out. Okay. Saberlight on the hunt. They've got vision on the Lifestealer now, and Arbit's going to be on his high on his heels, and the coil snaps, and that's a big kill if they can get it, but he rages up, and Arbit loses his life, and so does oh, Saberlight, man. boom! They just turned it, they flipped the table upside down, they don't get to kill the Lifestealer, not even a third attempt will be successful for them. That's a rough life right there. But he only has three deaths, though, so the, we just saw... Oh, tier 2 token, is that the cost of Fly's life? Oh, yes, it is. Turned around to pick the item. Worth it, though. You don't want to give that away. <laughs> no, not at all. Hitting creeps around the map. Picks up a couple casual kills on uh, them trying to kill him. Always a great turnaround. Fear is going to go for the initiation onto the Saberlight Brewmaster. Here comes the rest of the backup. Throwing in a I couple of stuns. Forcing out TPs and a smoke from Rebellion. They're looking to retaliate an answer to this. They see Toronto Tokyo for a mere second. Counter smoke from Betboom. And here comes Lifestealer as a range creep on the left side, exiting the triangle, but they already moved towards the Tormentor. But is this an awkward time for it? They see they're coming. Fly's already low on HP. Oh, this yeah, it's awkward. Good for Rebellion. This Perfect is awkward. Time for Betboom, though. Pick up the Yule's already popped on the puck. Toronto Tokyo will uh, get the Tormentor as well as killing Fly and killing Abed. And an Eclipse popped by Arteezy. He's feeling a bit of frustration here as well. He can't really get too much done here. So Betboom uh, waited for Rebellion to drop low. They steal the Tormentor, steal the kills, steal this area. Stealing the game by the looks of it. At least Arteezy is still topping net worth, but it's a slight help here, Puck. 
able to jump around, but actually jumps in with the Illusory Orb as GPK blocked the other exit. And that's another Abed death. Death number six on the puck, and Arteezy forced away with crit. Another kill for Bet Rebellion only... Luna can't really do well. Because, like, Luna has to be able to... This fight seem to be longer, but they end so fast. Like, your supports are instantly dying. Your puck is instantly dying in these fights. Two and six. Saberlight, he doesn't even have a Radiance yet. Maybe the next timing you see for Rebellion? Well, we'll have to save that as Arteezy. Uh-oh. That's not one that you want to give away, but he gets the BKB turnaround, pops the Manta, lives a bit longer, but can Rebellion finally get some kills on the board? Potentially Toronto, Tokyo could be one, gets caught by the Lucent Beam stun as the Centaur all takes the rest of Boom to safety. So they get to keep Arteezy's life intact. Oh, you know what? See, we see a big smoke coming to Arteezy here, and they're gonna have to get up to their high ground pretty soon here, because if they initiate this backline, it's gonna be a disaster. They got an avenue to go in, and Arteezy ain't swelled up here, doesn't find anybody. TP with the BKB already popped, they're gonna go straight for the Grim Stroke and find themselves a first opener. Big Infest also being used, the Arteezy alone, they got life is gonna burn out, they got the Life Stealer. They got something out of it. They are somewhat spent on resources. GPK pretty low on mana. Kotl, give me mana. Save they will give him some. He's going to get stunned up on the spot, but Arteezy still going to be chased up. GPK right there and into the arms of Bet Boom. Get themselves that secondary kill off of Arteezy's Luna. In that fight, but like those glaives that were bouncing upon him and Pure, I believe, just shredded Nightfall into that fight. As bottom lane, it looks like Saberlight might get caught here, and he's going to go down oh, there no. trying to cut the wave. I mean, he did cut the wave. But not worth as the network. <laughs> <laughs> Bad boom, smoking up towards the top half of the map. RTZ, oh, he's pretty deep in the lane. Save's gonna get information about this. And RTZ, oh man, not the one you wanna give away. He just got alive. He's already dead, or is he? Turns around the eclipse and they will use hmm. some extra resources. Ascent ult and infest bomb, but they make sure he is dead. How much? base you have left in that amount of time, right? As they're coming to high ground with this freshly completed MKB on the Nightfall. Okay, the DD was taken off by the Yule, so Abed there, very good. But it's still gonna probably be a barracks gone. Could be a good Ice Blast here. An opener, Saberlight oh, blinks in. They want to maybe get this Vengeful Spirit, but GPK diving in the back line. Crit's gonna be falling, and Lightstealer still inside GPK. So that good old Kinder surprise. Let's just take Rebellion off guard. Arteezy's back alive. Is poking the Brewmaster a bit, but GPK is out of mana. He's got a BKB. He's got a Coddle as well, at least, to give him that extra. Got a lot of Save is already running in front with Nightfall in Toronto, Tokyo. Pure is also here, already slowed up by the Cinder Brew. And an Infest Bomb is loaded up. He goes straight behind Fly, gets away with the Ancient Seal Totem, but Grimstroke getting targeted with the BKB pump on GPK. They can't touch him. They will take Arteezy as well. That's a double for Nightfall. And it will hunt down the rest of them off the side of Rebellion. Nobody seems to be getting away this time. Three down, make that a four with Abed low on HP. And Saberlight, his Brulings, slowly running out. Still has that Storm Spirit. That is also now removed, so he's back to safety. A lot of tools indeed. There's a hex on GPK as well. Not sure how long he's had that, but. You're gonna attempt. You're gonna get the Manta dodge there. You don't have a stun, remember? Like, you have your yep. silence, but that's why Lice threw well, it Well, okay. Gripstroke found in the back line, so Crit's taken out. What's he doing there? He tried to surprise them with the Soul Bind. That's all I can okay. think about. But Arteezy running away with his full BKB duration. Slowed up right in front of his fountain. Pure wants to make sure he gets caught from oh. Manta Dodge onto Classic the stun. Manta He's got Dodge. the coil coming out as well, but there's just not enough damage to apply. Abe's gonna go down, has buyback available. What good is it gonna do? Saberlight, he's about to drop as well. He knows he can't buy back into this game anymore. He's out of money out of it. And he's out for the count for 75 seconds. Bet Boom closing out this game. Slowly but surely. 100% kill participation in 39 minutes of a Dota game. 1 0 for Bet Boom. That's actually insane. He still kept the 100% kill for the Viper. Will they, will they Viper him? He's thinking it. Because, like, these tangos. As far as I know, don't really hurt the POS 5 that much, but it'll slow you down from your next item timing if you have to keep bringing Tangles as a core. Yeah, yeah, that is true. That is true. Saving Pure thinking about Fly here with a quick uh, blast off, but that's a noping ball bottom lane. Uh, Toronto, Tokyo, and Crit battling it out, and Willow not looking too healthy. Uh, Walks straight into the arms of Toronto, Tokyo, but Pure takes first blood off of RTZ Sven in the top lane, and a secondary as Toronto finally finishes off the job in the bottom lane.
And I think this is, goes back to the choice of RTZ picking a safe hero. Oh, they're this going to tackle the bottom. This hero doesn't stop. It's a very long distance chase as well. While they're fighting in mid for the Zeus, so two heroes in peril. Looks uh, like the Zeus fine. is the very likely kill that they can get as that TB is back to safety under the tower. And a last game, classic Vanguard up on the Centaur. Ortiz is going to have to leave the lane. Last game, at least he had the Luna, so he could like quickly clear out the waves compared to the Sven in the early game. Uh, yeah, they're pretty similar. Maybe pretty focus. similar, but yeah, but he's left the lane earlier out this time and fly. Uh, he's being targeted by Saban here, and there goes the jump. The stun's gonna be connecting, but no more hoof stunts. Still 10 second cooldown. Taser disarm on both of them. Sven won't be able to hit, but now finally turns in the favor onto the techies. Meanwhile, fly being chased. Pure will get the kill. Arteezy wants this one so bad, but he will not get it. And Pure walks in on the other direction. Hoof stump comes out. Zeus ulti to kill off the techies, so the job has been done. Abed secures a kill. Stable, like. If you do well in your lane or not, doesn't particularly matter because this hero can always catch up. Maybe I wanted to see a bit more aggression to punish Pure. And meanwhile, it looks like he'll get it's punished. It's going to go the same. other way around here. They're going to punish Sarteezy. If he hasn't already been punished enough. That's the fifth kill for Bet Boom in the first 10 minutes. And it could just be more. That's a DD on the puck. We can't do much about it. Meanwhile, Crit dies on the other side of the map. Prone. So Tokyo, with the help of Nightfall, with without a metamorph so just enchant group stage off it's like how do you answer this team because it's just it's not even the heroes it's just their general understanding of the game that it's making it really hard abed will get the snipe on toronto tokyo quick first with the help of the willow Dull. as soon as they understand that they see these gloves of haste popping up that they're not really making any plays we could just start choking out the map they can't do anything to us it's just when do they recognize and realize that happening. But uh, they're going to go straight for the Sven in the top lane. It's still Pure and Sven trying to blow... Uh, sorry, Pure yeah. and save, taking down the Sven, and they do exactly that. Yeah, the save is... Gets punished. Catching a lot of bolts this game for the team. They do... Yeah, that I was thought I hit perfect. That's... Uh, he just clicked away. He wanted to charge and then move out and connect the charge. Gotcha. Wow. Like like that small little detail. However, uh, Sven's found in the top lane and GPK would say oh, are going to jump onto RTZ down to nothing. Foil, but they might get to save in return. For the kill. Yeah. Saber Light you know how to finish off the techies. Soon Soon coming now. in as well. Centaur ult is used. It's a trade one for one. And RTZ's net worth is not going to get any better for the next 30 seconds as he is still in the graveyard. GPK. Bit of poke onto Saber Light, but nothing. I don't know if I play just being wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I'm trying to understand why they picked this hero. I am not really understanding. So far, it doesn't seem like it's it getting a lot of rebellion, right? I think that's yeah. the big thing that we're worried about here. But Pure, oh, okay, maybe that's the reason he has it. At least that's a good ice path set on Pure. Not enough damage to kill him though. He has that fight. GPK snapping the back line. Nice jump from Techies onto Arbet. And Arbet looks like he's going to blow up. And GPK will get this kill safe. Still running away from Saber Light. There's the bash. And that's going to be enough with the charge coming in. And onto Nightfall they go this time. One for one traded at the moment. Fear comes out, forces out the TV. But that leaves Fly all by himself. And sniped away by Nightfall. And GPK finishes off crit. Also coils the Spirit Breaker. He can't participate back. Yeah, also the fact that uh, it, it took a lot of effort trying to kill Pure in the river there. He disassembled his vanguard that he picked up in the laning stage uh, to finish off an early pipe. And it's just a, it's such a fantastic item, this game. I mean, there's a Zeus, there's a Jakiro, there's a and Willow. Why? Breaker should be able to finish off same here. It's going to be one at the same time. They've got the Centaur control. GPK oh, goes down all of it. Does get the snipe. And that's going to be another one. Rebellion getting some big ones here. With nobody dying on their side. Opening up the lane. And that tier one tower. So Rebellion get to breathe a bit of fresh air. For a first time. And also around the area. But he has a tier two. They can dodge this smoke pretty well here. They... Not sure if they know exactly. Probably suspecting, well, the tier two is put the waves pushing. But how close are they? And Safe gets the surprise. But the Shadow Realm comes off. Zeus ulti as well. Willow will get blown up by the mines by Save. And that opens up the tier two tower. Resorted to Saber Light. I guess you can say somewhat of a rat. Meanwhile, actually, Safe gets jumped on as they got the Zeus ulti. And they are coming for Saber Light now. Mines placed down. GPK's here, has the coil and the Aegis. Versus Bulldoze. 
All right. He went in right when Bulldoze expired. He wasn't even an Octarine court. Trying to hunt somebody and pure. That's a very tanky centaur, but let's see if they decide to go for it. Sven ulti. All right, here we go. Let's see how he much he can accumulate. He's not going to get the double edge anybody, and he will die. Fly gets the kill. Dire scan perfectly on point. There's only three of them down here. GPK finds them, but the jump goes onto the puck first with the ice path laid down. And Fly gets the kill again. As accustomed. On purpose in the game. And you're playing versus Zeus, naturally, who's getting really close to that level 20 yep. talent. And that is the talent. Hence that why they're doing something right now and smoking straight towards Rebellion. Arteezy in the front. And he gets the blink. Alpha Pure gets the sun on crit. Crit deleted. Just two spells required. Paul connecting onto Fly. And he's just going to be another fly. That's going to be squatted. Smack down onto the ground. You two kills dragon from Bet Boom. I guess there's a dragonfly. Consistent, much more reliable in a way. One shot. And he could also waves. he could also join this fight in six seconds because Rebellion is marching onto Bet Boom turf. They have the vision advantage though. Crit spotted again. Last time he got deleted. This time Zero comes out. They got the Zeus ulti. They got vision of Bet Boom. And here comes Saber. Like 2 2. Goes for the BKB pop on TV. Shakiro down. Hits nobody with the ice pad. But here comes Arteezy. Slices away with the ultimate. The Gold Strength doing a lot of damage onto the TV. But Nightfall still running Charmian. away. And can't even Sunder. Saber Light for the BKB will prevent him from using it. But Arteezy is down at the same time. And they are going to have to retreat. They got one big one for another. And again, they're going to have to enter Rebellion's side. Oh no, they're choosing. They got to fight them. They don't have He's going to die really quickly outside of this Roche pit as he's being targeted. Left all by himself. He does get away with the Glimmer Cape. No vision, no detection. And he's out. Saber with the BKB. Fighting against Nightfall. Down to half HP. And here he's comes so Nightfall with his own as well. And they're just going away. Arteezy's disengaging. Fly is already down. The Roche pit left for Bet Boom to take. And. That fight's it, and Rebellion, they're just gonna tap out and leave. Oh, Pure found Arteezy, but Arteezy does. It's just the world we live in. The Rebellion damage that they dealt, uh, that last team fight was a bit appalling. It's not a lot that they dealt here. Another BKB used by Saberlight on the save. 1v1. Last time he got killed for trying this one, but now he will take it. And he's also gonna leave victorious. Uh, 5 1 and 3 now on. It's just that absurd. It's absolutely You've got a guy insane. with 450 last hits and Arteezy and he jumped <laughs> up and deleted. Good night, Arteezy. He's got five. Back boom, just marching straight to the high ground. He's got no god strength for 60 seconds either. He's not so the real he's... carry anyway. The real carry is on the top yeah. lane right now. <laughs> Yeah, we're waiting for Saber Chat to come back and save the base. But Bet Boom working their way through as that glyph is going to run out. Here away with that first crown on top of him fly moving out as well with glimmer k pop on himself another glyph to use 60 seconds for arteezy to return and here's saber light with an extra 1800 hp is going to get yules up into the air so that is instantly removed that's He's the most dead. powerful yules you've seen in a while because it leads to his death yeah, just like that techies man he bought blink yules just to deal with saber light and guess what it worked now you he's use Yules, to buy back. You use Yules to remove a shield effect, and you just did 1,800 damage with that. That's just how powerful that Yules was. I mean, Toronto and Tokyo also, is, he's chomping now. He's doing some serious damage. And they just don't want to buy back Arteezy. They're going to decide. I mean, they just got God Strength up, and they're pretty much in shambles in the base right now. So I don't know if they could have done anything with this team with the TV illusions. It's right next to the base, so if they get a kill here, that's going to be their entree. Here, he just is popped. Look at the blink stun, and the Yules cancel is there by save. Another Yules pop by the Willow this time, but he falls to his death GPK for the kill, and the rest of Rebellion instantly push that top wave out. Arm yep. does a lot, so if they can kill him and keep, know for sure he's out of the game, yeah. that'll be gold. big. Gold to impact ratio, but Nightfall spotted. Surprise, Nightfall. Can see have Saber Light on top of him? Yes, he does, but the BKB's already popped, so no Sunder available. But those targets, they're running away right now. And a beautiful Sun from Pure in the back line. On to three. Saber Light's going to be dropping in a matter of seconds with Save. Jumping on top of it with the blast off and Rebellion. Good night this series. It's all bet boom for you.
very, very clean series here for Bedboom. And if you're a Shopify Rebellion fan, 